Hi, I'm Kyle Heyman. I'm the Mayor Pro Tem of Conover. Good morning. I'm Jan Herman on Conover City Council, and we're sitting in Conover City Park, located in downtown Conover, next to uh, our Conover Station and Manufactured Solutions. We're sitting here under the under the new pavilion at the park that we dedicated on May 24th, and we'd like to talk about the development and talk uh, talk about the park that we've recently. Uh, recently dedicated for the citizens of Conover. We took an unusable piece of property, which was a liability, and turned it into one of the finest assets that Conover seems to have right now. Everybody, all ages, can enjoy this park. When the, when the city purchased this property back in 2005, uh, we did several public surrats, and one of the things that the citizens routinely said they wanted was a, was a public park another public park and what we've done exactly what Jan has said is turn a turn a liability into an asset this was an old manufacturing uh, facility Broy Hill was here and uh, uh, you have Macklin Creek that runs through the park and uh, basically this park could only be used for a park it, uh, it serves as a stormwater control for the city and uh, uh, tremendous amount of uh, economic opportunities for our downtown. And now, like I said, everyone, even handicapped children have assets here. Our water feature is a, just wonderful. Uh, the pavilion here can be rented out or you can come and use it anytime you want to. Uh, we have a restroom. We've got plenty of amenities for all ages and it's just been a wonderful asset to our city. Well, let's start with the pavilion. That's what we're sitting under right now. Uh, this is a new shelter uh, that can be rented from our citizens. Uh, have birthday parties, whatnot here, and uh, this is this is pretty much the beginning of the park. If you move on through the park, you have uh, uh, numerous opportunities for playground equipment. You have a walking track, uh, and we also have the stormwater control. And Jan, you want to talk about the stormwater control? Our stormwater control controls all the water that comes from our city and this has been an asset to us too because it gives us a place to dispose of it in a nice way um, and it, it's amazing how they how the city and our planning director Lance Hyde has taken and included everything that you could possibly want from a pavilion out there for the children to watch the fish which are out there and the frogs and the tadpoles to um, all the different kinds of uh, plants. There are over 8,000, I think, different kinds of plants out there, and it's, it's, it's just amazing how they are going to control everything and take care of our stormwater drain from the city. A lot of people want to know how this was paid for. Uh, yeah. uh, that's, that's one of the main things that, that people want to ask. Uh, the city was awarded a North Carolina Queen, Clean Water Management Trust Fund grant in the amount of $415,000 that was used to help design and, and create this park. Uh, the wetlands, uh, they treat the urban stormwater runoff from over 50 acres, uh, which includes all of our downtown. Uh, what some people don't realize is when you have economic development and you have a commercial piece of property, you have to designate a portion of that property for stormwater runoff. In this particular area, uh, we do have several plots of land for economic development. The stormwater retention pond serves as that stormwater runoff, so the entire pieces of property that are, that are available for development can be utilized for building. They will not have to have a portion of those lots used for stormwater runoff because we already have that here at the park. Yeah, the city of Conover was uh, awarded, like he said, this grant. And all throughout the city, I mean, city park, you're going to find educational signs that are going to tell the visitors what's going on in each different area and um, make it educational as well as functional and a lot of fun. Um, the dedication of this new 6.5 acre park resulted in a 50 percent increase in our public system and this is going to be the most used uh, from what we have heard from all of our constituents. It's a, it's a big success, a very big success. 
Uh, it contains a picnic shelter, a restroom, a one and a half miles of asphalt, concrete walking trail, nature-inspired playground equipment for children of all ages and all different abilities, a splash pad, bridges, a boardwalk overlooking our wetland where the children have told us they're seeing fish and tadpoles. The total amount of, of grant money that was used in addition to the $415,000 Clean Water Management Trust Fund, uh, we also had a Part F grant uh, in the amount of $333,000, so the total amount was nearly $750,000 in grant money used to construct and design this park. Um, due to our city's effort uh, of coordination and a combination of the projects together, the out-of-pocket money for our park from the city was only $7,900, and that is well worth what we got. Absolutely, absolutely. And as we can see today, there's a lot of families that are, that are coming on a daily basis utilizing the park. I think uh, everybody would agree that the crown jewel of this park is the splash pad that is located directly next to the pavilion. Uh, I believe in the first week after we dedicated it, we used over 125,000 gallons of water in just the first, first week, week of use. So it is being utilized and, and enjoyed by a lot of people. And it is on our Carolina Thread Trail. Absolutely. Uh, so this is uh, going to help out because this goes through 15 counties in North and South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that are very interested in that and they use it all over North and South Carolina and we're glad to have it. We want to emphasize just how proud we are of the city park and the direction that our city staff and our city council has taken to move forward with this park. They've put a lot of time and effort into this park and it is being utilized tremendously. Again, we want to reiterate it's in downtown Conover. It's uh, what we call at our Conover Station next to the MSC building and across from Concordia Church. And you're welcome here to walk, enjoy, people of all ages.